welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel today topic is very interesting which is five big mistakes in beam construction if you are studying if you are working on construction site if you are not a technical person so watch this video till the end to know five big mistakes if you want to build your house so must watch this video till the end to guide you for five big mistakes if you are new on this channel so you may subscribe this channel and like the video if you have already subscribed the channel so you may like this video because this is very interesting for you people the topic is five big mistakes in beam construction as you can see guys this is beam this is the section for beam and here we have steel reinforcement and beam these are two supports and also these are four and one i will also add you here so here guys here uh, if you see in many construction they don't provide any uh, development length at the end of the beam so here i will write development length development length what is development length guys you can see properly this is column our support you can say this is rcc column at the end of the column when we are making the joint of beam and column guys you can see this is the junction or the joint between beam and column so at the end of the beam here we don't have a continuous beam or etc only this is end of the beam guys you can see so this is support so it means this is end okay this is end of the beam so these are steel reinforcement the red lines can show you steel reinforcement but here guys you can see here this steel is coming to the downward side and the tension zone guys you can see this steel reinforcement is going to the upward side so guys this is called a development length guys you can see this one which is here same like this this is called development length okay so what should be the length of development length so development length should not be less than 0. 2442d it means let me write here 0.LD development uh, DL sorry LD okay development length so this is 0.42d where D is depth of the beam depth of the beam not the diameter okay so guys that uh, length you can taken from uh, this formula if the depth of the beam is 12 inches so it means 12 inches so multiply with 0.42 so it means this is around about 5 inch thickness uh, sorry depth okay this one so the length should be 5 inch if the depth is 12 inches if it is 18 inches so multiply with 0.42 so it means you can take about 8 inches etc so this is very important to know about this point so this is for development length if you don't provide so it can't make a good uh, joint between beam and column okay with concrete also the next one guys you can see here this is a beam so guys you can see the section in many construction i saw they provided three steel rods at the bottom four at the top so this is one of the big mistake in uh, beam construction that's why because this is tension zone the bottom is this is tension zone so therefore this is compression zone remember that upper portion compression zone steel is weak in tension okay steel uh, concrete is weak in tension but it's strong in compression it means concrete which we use in building construction like beam column slab foundation this is the uh, main part of the building which is concrete which can make from uh, uh, cement sand aggregate and water etc okay so that is called concrete okay are the combination of uh, four materials cement sand aggregate and water it can give you concrete so concrete is weak in tension so therefore you can use more numbers of steel rods at the bottom and minimum at the top portion because it's strong in compression concrete is strong in compression so therefore if you are using this so just take the opposite of this design so used three numbers at the top four at the bottom if you are using two at the top so provide three at the bottom that's why because tension zone is weak because concrete is weak in tension zone but it's strong in compression to increase the strength of concrete so provide maximum numbers at the bottom and minimum numbers at upper portion because it's strong in compression but it's weak in tension 
the third one guys you can see clearly here that is here this is one column and this is other column these are supports suppose the span between two column is five meter this is span remember guys as you can see this red lines can show you here steel bar you can say this is steel bar longitudinal bars so therefore if you need to provide lapping length suppose if uh, you have a problem or if you don't have the sufficient length of the steel so don't provide don't provide lapping length guys you can see this is lapping okay don't provide lapping at the mid l by 2 don't provide L at the distance of L by 2. L means 5 divided by 2. So the length is 2.5 meters, suppose. So don't provide lapping at the bottom portion of the middle, L by 2. If you require lapping length at upper portion, so you are able to provide at the middle. Here you can provide, you can provide the lapping here at upper portion. But at bottom portion, you are not able to provide. That's why, because as I discussed before, that concrete is weak in tension. This is tension zone and we have positive bending moment. So due to positive bending moment, we have more chances of bending. So don't provide lapping at the distance of L by 2 at the bottom or at the tension zone. But in compression zone, if you require so provide here, don't provide at the distance of L by 4 here or at the distance of L by 4 here. So here at the bottom portion, you can provide lapping length after L by 4. It means at the distance of L by 6 lapping you can provide at the bottom but at upper portion you can provide at the distance of l by 2 don't provide l by 4 upper portion okay next guys here you can see these are supports columns and you can see the stirrups these are stirrups so remember don't provide stirrups at the same spacing suppose six inches center to center don't provide same spacing in all beam okay just make it like this c or you can say 150 to 200 millimeter c slash c it means don't provide at six inches you can say six inches to eight inches or eight inches or seven inches you can say so center to center so here what you will do as you can see guys this is span suppose span is here four meter so at the distance of l by four l by four so l by four is one meter and here again one meter so guys at the distance of l by four provide spacing closely the spacing should be close here guys you can see which is 150 where we have 200 millimeter so 200 millimeter you can provide at this place this one here you can provide 200 millimeter c slash c but here at the distance of l by 4 l by 4 it means at 1 meter that's why because l 4 meter divide by divide by 4 so 1 meter at the distance of 1 meter you can provide closely which is here 150 but 200 after l by 4 now guys remember one thing more okay guys you can see this is steer so this angle of steer don't provide less than don't provide less than 25 degree less than don't provide and don't provide or don't keep more than 40 angle or 40 degree but i am recommending you from 30 to 33 is best for normal residential building okay in which you can keep the riser this is riser and this is straight so this riser you can keep from six to seven inches so this is the best design for this tier case so guys this is a short video to guide you for five big mistakes in the construction of beam Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.